Sue Sue Simmers, it is Christy Sims here. If you're new to my channel, welcome, welcome, welcome. It's a pleasure to have you. Now you guys, you just saw my airport machinima. And let me just say, <laughs> I tried my little heart out. I know the graphics were pretty bad, but you guys, I tried, I tried. So be nice in the comments. <laughs> now, Please stick around to the end because there will be a visual walkthrough in the end. And for those who are new, just know that all my builds, I include a machinima in the beginning and a visual walkthrough in the end. I wanted to incorporate a tunnel in my airport just because, you know, we all walk through tunnels to get to the plane. So I thought that was a must. That was one of the things that I said in the beginning that I must have a tunnel and I must have those little, oh gosh darn it, I forgot the name you guys, those little towers that look at the planes. <laughs> Anyways, I wanted to make sure that I had those two things. Oh, and a parking lot. So I added those things. Now, I, as I was downloading it to the gallery i saw that there was someone else that did the tunnel technique as well so i want to give them credit because i saw that they put a border around their tunnel and i kind of used that for inspiration <laughs> but anyways i'm going to give them credit in the description below they are an amazing builder so please check them out anyways so back to my airport now you guys i really tried to make it base game but it was so hard to do. <laughs> I give props to all of those people that actually do that for their YouTube channel. And one that I could really think of right now is my girl Ashley. So props to her because that was really hard. <laughs> and I just couldn't. I just couldn't do it. So maybe one day I'll be able to do a full, you know, base game build. But for right now, I like my packs. <laughs> Anyways, so with this build you guys now i am really proud of myself just because it was totally out of the norm and i really had to use my imagination um and that was really neat i am I'm, I'm a creative person i mean i'm not as creative as you know some gurus out there but i you know i'm not that shabby <laughs> So I was really happy with this outcome. This was my favorite build. Well, no, my SpongeBob was a pretty fun build as well, but this one was right up there, you guys. I was really proud of myself. I really pushed through the boundaries and I had to kind of manipulate things to make it seem that way. <laughs> But we are going to get into the inside of the build really quickly. But I really wanted to do something different in the inside too. I didn't want it to be very boxy and stuff. So I decided to do the stairs in a really neat and different way. Something I personally have never done. And I usually just pull off a stair and boom, done, finish. But I thought, hey you need to do different you need to elevate your builds a little bit more so i did the staircase this way and i'm super happy and how it turned out like i'm super proud of myself it turned out really nice so if you want to do something like that i definitely you know encourage you guys because it really makes your builds super elegant and super nice now here on the side this is kind of like the luggage check-in section the airport <laughs> and I what you see now I use some of the get to work items to make a oh my gosh my English those little scanner things that you walk in through do you know what I'm talking about but yes I wanted to create that and I'm pretty happy with the outcome you know it's not that bad and I could see it I wonder if you guys if I didn't tell you guys this, would you know what that was? Let me, let me know in the comment below. <laughs> so I was extremely happy about how this came, turned out. And actually this leads directly to the tunnel, which leads to the airport. I mean, not the airport, the plane. So I was really excited that 
that really connected. So that was only for passengers only. And of course, in the airport, you have to have a cafe. So I added this cafe in here and I wanted to be really small and quaint just because when I think of airport food, I think of Starbucks. <laughs> so again, I kind of wanted to give it that cafe feel. So I hope you guys see that in the build. Now, I also wanted to add really beautiful statement sections and this is one of them, the water fountain. I feel like airports really have the wow beautiful statement pieces or sections of the airport which, I don't know, make one go, oh that's really pretty. So I added this little water feature which I you know it's not that bad just letting you know that I really kept the decorations to a minimum just because it is an airport and I was trying to go for that modern minimalistic feel so just a little heads up now this airport includes a VIP section which is in the second floor where the bathrooms are located including a bar and in the top top floor which is the third floor there are the offices for the airport as well as the, I don't know, the president of the airport. I have no idea what that title is, but he also or she has an office there. And I also included a watchtower place where there's a bunch of computers and stuff. So make sure to stick around for the visual walkthrough in the end.